makeup here. What's up? Um, I just wanted to share my awesome car pillow because, like, look how fluffy. I'm gonna put that here because it's comfy to me. I just really wanted to quickly share um, this palette that I got from Rimmel London. It says, Rimmel's first sculpting palette designed by Kate Moss. Three shades to highlight, contour, and blush. So that's what it looks like. And this is the golden bronze. I don't think I picked the right shades or like the right palette for my specific skin tone um, because I tried it and it was okay. I could have possibly applied it wrong, but hello, I'm learning. That's what this channel's about, right? It has one highlight, one contour, and one blush. And I really like this palette because it has like all three in one and it's not like it has two different blushes or I mean not to say I don't like if you once you guys start getting to know me in my videos you will see that I love and like a lot of things but I will be honest about things I like and don't like but I like it because it's so compact I think it's a go-to um, palette just because it's so small I recently um, reviewed the wet and wild mega glow uh, contouring palette if you want to check that out um, in my videos but that's like a big circle so I really like this because it's like a really cute like I mean just like look it's so easy to hold and put away so I tried it and I kind of over over did it over bronzed myself so one thing I don't like about this is that the highlight is a little bit too shimmery for my liking. I felt like I was in a music video as a bronze girl, like a girl made of bronze. I didn't like that. But again, it could have been user error. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, it's not quite the best lighting. Let's see if I can fix this. Is that better? Like, because you can, like, and by the way, please don't mind how dark. Look how much darker my forehead is compared to, like, my cheeks. Um, I feel really weird about it. And I think that's why I didn't like wearing this, too, because, like, I contoured up here as well and my forehead's already really dark so I think I'm gonna stop contouring there until it becomes fall and winter and I can look like an old person. Let's try this out. Alright, so this is my before face and I have really nasty bags so please excuse me for that. I can't help it. I really should sleep more. I'm using a wet and wild just basic um I guess it's a contour brush. I'm honestly not sure I got this as a gift. All right, what I, oh. Sorry, I got excited. Can I just say that I really like the fact that on the back, not just the description, it doesn't have just the description. It also has, look, it shows what you're supposed to do. And I love that so much. Does it step one, two, and three? So we'll start with number one because I like following directions. I'm really big on that. I'm a teacher, so I don't know if because I stress it on my students, I have to do it too. Or maybe I'm just OCD like that. Number one, soft shimmer powder to highlight. It says to put it here, under the eyebrows, here, up here, the nose. I am only gonna put it here. I'm not gonna put it here under my eyebrows because look how nasty my eyebrows are. I haven't gotten them done yet and I've been trying to get them done for the past two weeks. So just here. And it's very pigmented. See how light that is? So you gotta be really careful about how much you put. Oh, let's do a before picture. And a close one, okay. So let's do this. Can you see it? So according to the instructions, contour is supposed to go up here. I'm not putting it there. Contour is supposed to go here. From So the key is to do it from the top of the ear-ish to like here. Top of the ear-ish into the hairline here. Um, and then it wants you to put it here and here. Kind of, I kind of don't want to put it here because I already feel like I'm, I have a dark shadow here. 
Um, so I think I will avoid that. Let me show you a swatch of contour. It's pretty dark, I feel. So we'll just start off real light. And then for this, they say, I've been, I've been watching my own YouTube tutorials, okay? Um, but not to do it so hard or harsh, just kind of like... There are some pictures that actually point to it going like here, which I think is kind of weird because I did it and I was like, ooh, I look like I'm dying. I was like, let me never do that again. I think that's good, so we'll do this side. Real light again because you don't want to make it too dark. It comes on pretty easy. Okay, so you kind of see it. All right, um, should I? You know what, I'll do it just for kicks and giggles. I'll put it here as well. And I'm really sorry for the lighting. For now, this is what you have to deal with because it's what I have to deal with. Um, I just don't have the best jawline anymore. I gained a lot of weight um, over the past few years. So yes, give me that chiseled jawline, please. I want to be like Angelina Jolie. Okay, next blush. Powder blush for definition and color. They want you to put the blush just between the highlight. See the pink? Between the highlight and the contour. So it's gonna go from here to here. And it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to overlap it a little bit with the contour so that it blends in. Looks a little more natural. This is the blush. Can you see it even? See the shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Um, and I'm glad it's not too um, crazy looking. All right, ready? Don't mind my weird dimples in my cheeks. You see it? Even? You should really not swipe it, but stipple, stipple motion, which is stipple. Because you don't want to, when you swipe a lot, depending on what it is you're doing, it can take off the product and wipe it away. Whereas when you stipple, it puts it right on. Let's see. Did I go through all the steps? One, two, and three. Yes, I did. Okay, so this is my after picture. I think, I mean, as simple as it gets. Like, you don't have to overcomplicate things. Can you please put a little more light on me, please, camera? Anyway, I like this product. And with the glasses, I look smarter. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like what you watch, please give me a like so that others can also benefit from whatever silliness I am. Have a good day.